Hi everyone, in this video I am going to start another or third type of multi vibrator which is nothing but an stable multi vibrator. So, a stable multi vibrator name clearly tells that it has no stable states. In a stable multi vibrator, both the states are quasi stable states, so that's why it has no stable states. Okay, so I will write here. it has no stable states both the states are both the states are quasi stable states quasi means temporary quasi stable states Okay, quasi means temporary. Okay, so now what how many triggering pulses are needed for this one? How many triggering pulses are needed for a stable multi vibrator? Triggering pulse purpose is to change the state. Okay, if any state is being in the same state forever, then we are applying a triggering pulse and changing their states. But here both the states are temporary states and quasi stable state what is the purpose of uh, triggering pulse no triggering pulse so that's why there is no triggering pulse there is no triggering pulse applied because what is the reason because both the states both the states are quasi stable states quasi stable states okay so now let us see the circuit diagram and operation of this stable multi vibrator very simple see here if you observe the three circuit diagrams of all these three different types of uh, multi vibrators like bi stable multi vibrator uh, mono stable multi vibrator and stable multi vibrator see in the first first bistable multi vibrator there was a resistor from here to here okay there is a resistor from here to here and there is also a resistor from here to here okay when there are resistors these resistors are connected at the basis of these two transistors so from the base to emitter it is having some internal resistance again here also from base to emitter it is having some internal resistance this resistance and this resistance in the bistable multi vibrator provides a voltage division network okay but now slowly we are eliminating the resistors we are eliminating the resistors and slowly we are eliminating the resistors and this resistor this resistor and this resistor is connected as attenuator but now in this uh, mono stable and stable multi vibrator we are taking them as capacitors by eliminating the resistors the purpose of capacitor is to charge and discharge the states okay so here here we are using both the capacitors but if you look at the mono stable multi vibrator in the mono stable multi vibrator one is a resistor one side we are having a capacitor one side we are having resistors wherever you are having one resistor and one capacitor that means one stable state another one is a quasi stable state but here if you see the stable multi vibrator both the states are quasi stable states because both the sides both sides of the collectors we are having capacitors c1 and c2 okay so now coming to the operation let us assume that one transistor is in on state another transistor is in off state okay so when q1 is in on state what is the situation is going on see when q1 is in on state here at the output one you are having vce set vce set assume i will write one by one here so assume the first case 
q1 is in on state and q2 is in off state okay so q1 in on state and q2 is in off state then what happens when this first transistor is in on state the voltage at collector 1 this is collector 1 this is base 1 this is emitter 1 of course it is grounded emitter 2 is also grounded and it is collector 2 and this is base 2 so what is the voltage at collector 1 this collector 1 voltage is vc set because the transistor is in on state so vc1 is equal to vce set and here vc2 vc2 is nothing but voltage at the collector 2 is see here the second transistor is in off state for this off transistor there is no current flow and there exists a maximum open circuit voltage which is nothing but vcc so vc2 is equal to vcc this is the maximum voltage we are having okay now what about the other transistors base voltages okay see when this collector voltage vc1 is vc set the same voltage is applied to the base 2 of this transistor q2 okay and again vc2 is applied at the base 1 of this transistor q1 as it is having vcc now the transistor q1 is in on state that is okay but now as this transistor q1 is in on state there is a current flow from r2 from vcc through r2 and through c1 through this on transistor then what happens slowly the capacitor charges 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 when the capacitor charges up to the maximum voltage vcc but if the voltage across capacitor reaches v gamma then v gamma is applied to the base 2 of this particular transistor then q2 will be having a sufficient input voltage then it will come into on state okay i will write here as q1 is in on state as q1 in, is in on state capacitor c1 this capacitor c1 charges through r1 up to plus vcc but when it reaches v gamma what happens this voltage applied to base of q2 so q2 comes into q2 comes into on state okay so if you see the waveform so previously it is in vc vb set again the same whatever the waveform you have seen the same will be here also so the capacitor charges charges and when it reaches some v gamma automatically the transistor comes into on state so it again stabilizes to vbe set this is the vbe set at base 2 it is vbe set at base 2 this is vb2 again for the next operation if you take vb1 condition it is also in the same way because the cases will be altered see what happens now q2 comes into on state and q1 comes into off state then what happens now the same will happen in the opposite side now the capacitor c2 charges through the on resist through the uh, r3 c2 and then again through this transistor so capacitor c2 charges as long as the capacitor charges and reaches the v gamma that v gamma again applies to this q1 so q1 comes into again on state okay so here the states are automatically changing without giving any external triggering pulses because of the existence of capacitors on either sides of the collectors okay so this is a purely collector coupled collector coupled a stable multi vibrator i am talking about 
okay so generally like your bistable multi vibrator and monostable multi vibrator in a stable multi vibrator also there are two types of uh, vibrators or stable multi vibrators are there one is a collector coupled stable multi vibrator and uh, uh, emitter coupled stable multi vibrator so it is a collector coupled the one which i am explaining now is a collector coupled stable multi vibrator where the collectors are coupled with the basis of the transistors a cross coupling is there but here the coupling elements are purely capacitors the main purpose of the capacitors are to make the temporary stable states temporary stable states automatically the states are being changed uh, by having charging and discharging across the capacitors that is the main advantage of capacitors and stable multi vibrator so as the stable multi vibrator is generating the uh, waveforms itself a stable multi vibrator is also known as a regenerative circuit it is also known as a regenerative circuit or a free running oscillator or a free running oscillator thank you